I'm George Kao. I'm a sake uh, educator from New York Mutual Trading. But I'm here, you know, on my day off here at uh, Upper West Side, supporting my buddies here at the Ramen Lab. I like the traditional ramen, which if you come to the street fair, Asahi Kawa Ramen is perfect. They know how to do it just right. But I love all the experimentation that's going on here, like Ramen Lab, they're doing like tomato-based broth and like Italian style with sausage and everything. Very scrumptious. We have a very unique take on ramen. I guess you know, ramen's really taken up by storm here in New York. And so um, rather than just doing something status quo, if you will, today we have a New York heritage ramen. We're using uh, Italian sausage, creamy mushrooms, Roma tomatoes. We're making elements um, that fit within the four quadrants of ramen. It's basically a Japanese soul food. I, mean, I grew up eating it as a kid, so I have that memory in my brain of it. And whenever I slurp noodles or drink soup, it just feel, it just calms me down. Because ramen has no boundaries. You could really do anything you want with it, be creative as you want. You have all these French influence, Italian influence, Spanish influence coming into ramen, and it's, it's great. We wanted to introduce a different style of ramen today. Uh, the style of ramen we're doing is yaki ramen. Uh, so this is like a stir-fried version of ramen. All the flavor comes from just the, the ingredients and the toppings. So what we have today is a salmon, uh, it's been marinated in shiokoji and uh, we're cooking with shimeji mushrooms and maitake mushrooms and cabbage and it all comes together like in a kind of like a nice, really nice broth for the, for the noodles. I'm at the Japan Block Fair because for the penny and a mixed penny and a ramen. Basically the taste is from like a chicken and a shio, like a salt. Then I'm, I'm putting the, like a color with the, like a noodle, so it's like a more like a, it's called kala kala ramen. Uh, this is a living living food, uh, so this is a probiotic food. You know, Chef Natsuko is really trying to find more creative ways of using them in uh, you know in just in foods that you might not have seen them in before. I'm told that there's over 80,000 ramen stores in Japan, and that, that's. That's, I think, three times more than the global amount of McDonald's out there. I believe, you know, Japanese food is more healthy, you know. So, you know, American food is like a kind of, you know, like a, like a, I don't want to say like a kind of junk food, a lot of junk food. So, but, you know, Japanese food is like a more healthy for health. This is part of my further study of the culture and cuisine. And there's so much more to learn. Wow, it's amazing. I didn't even know there were just dozens of different ramen from all over Japan. This is a wonderful experience. In Japan, it's been like this for like 10, 12 years, so to see it happen in, in New York is, is just awesome. Like, I can't wait to come back and open up shop as well.